Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. In this video, which is part of my series of videos about digital logic, I'm going to talk about De Morgan's theorem and logic simplification. Let's go over De Morgan's theorem, which is a way of converting a logic formula into a maybe more useful formula. And De Morgan's theorem says that you can convert a uh, formula into an equivalent one by following these three steps. The first one is invert the individual terms. The second thing is to swap and for or and vice versa. And finally, the third thing is to invert the entire expression. Okay, so let's say I had A, B bar, C. And the whole thing is barred. If I want to change this into another form, I can say, all right, the first one is I'm going to invert the individual terms. So I get A bar, B, C uh, bar. And these two are not equivalent. Only the first uh, or the zeroth step and the third step will be equivalent. These are uh, intermediate steps that won't be equal. Anyway, so we're going to swap the operators. So I have A bar or B or C bar. And then finally, I'm going to invert the entire term. So I have A bar or B or C bar. And this is equivalent to this. And a reason that you might want to do this is if you want to separate all your variables. Right now they're grouped under this big invert, and here they're individual. We'll get back to some more examples of this later in this video, after I've taught you some other stuff. All right. All of these logic uh, functions evaluate into 0 or 1 or true and false. And so if I have a, a bar, essentially a and a bar, that's going to always evaluate to 0. Because let's say a is 0. 0 and 1 will work out to 0. And if this is 1, 1 and 0 still works out to 0. If I have A or A bar, this one always works out to 1 or true. So if this is a 1 or 0, it equals 1. If it's 0 or 1, it still works out to 1. If I have A or AB, this equals A. Because let's say if A is 1, well, this term equals 1, and 1 or anything equals 1. And let's say this equals 0. If I have 0 and something, it equals 0. So whatever A is, is what this works out to. Next, if I have A or A bar B, this one equals A or B. And the proof of that is, is I'm going to take this A here and swap it in for that one, giving me A or AB or A bar B. And then I can take and I can group uh, this. So it's A or B times A or A bar. And A or A bar 
right here always evaluates to 1. So uh, b times 1 is b, so that equals a or b. All right. A or a b bar. All right. This one I'm going to take and I'm going to apply De Morgan's theorem that I just showed you. So I'm going to invert the individual terms and swap AND for OR. So this is just this A dropping down, OR, A bar, OR, B. And, um, oh, I didn't say what that's equal to. It's equal to 1. So A or A bar right here always equals 1, according to this one. And 1 or anything equals 1. So that's the proof of that. There's one final simplification that you often have to do, uh, and that is A exclusive or B. And A exclusive or B works out to be and this is one you just have to memorize, a b bar or a bar b. For any of these terms, let's say, for any of these terms you can consider a to be a variable, but um, if I had a b exclusive or c, I could consider this to be A. And so what this would work out to be is AB um, C bar or AB bar C. Okay, let's do a few simplifications here. The first of one, first of them that I'm going to do is a b bar or b c bar or b c bar all times a c. All right. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, and this isn't necessarily using all the rules that I just showed. It'll use some of them, but I'm just showing you the process. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply all of this out so it becomes a b bar a c or um, b c bar a c or b c bar a c and I'm not quite sure what to do with this, so I'm going to apply De Morgan's theorem to get A bar or B bar. And then I'm, I'm just applying it to that chunk uh, anded with AC. And here I have uh, B, C bar, A, C. And if you remember from before, I had A, A bar, and that always equals zero. So because of that, 0 times AB still equals 0. So this term just works out to nothing. And this one, I don't know what's going on yet. So I'm going to go B, apply De Morgan's. OK. Now we're going to uh, multiply it out again. So we've got A bar A. C or A, B bar, C, and we'll just skip that guy, or A, B bar, C, or A, C, C bar. All right, once again, this one goes to zero. And we don't, oh, this one goes to zero. And we've got uh, these two are exactly the same. So um, 
If this works out to zero, then this one will work out to zero. And zero or zero is zero. If this works out to one, and this one works out to one, one or one equals one. So the, uh, the final result is just A, B bar, C. So here we've taken a complex formula and uh, simplified it into something easier to grasp and would take fewer logic circuits to implement. All right, we're going to do one more. I'm going to write it down, and then maybe you could pause the video and, and uh, see if you can work it out yourself. Uh, and then I'll show you how to solve it. So I've got A, C bar, or B bar, C. And then the whole thing is inverted. All right, if you feel like pausing, go for it now. The way I'm going to solve this is because I can't invert the individual terms right here uh, because it has a bar over it, I'm going to simplify it first, just this chunk with the Morgan's theorem. So I get A bar or C bar, uh, and then or B bar C, and the whole thing is uh, inverted. And so now, uh, I'll apply De Morgan's to the whole thing to get rid of this bar up top. And uh, first I'll invert the individual terms, A or C or B, C bar. And then I will uh, I'll just put that as step one. Step two is we're going to swap AND for OR and vice versa. So we have A, C, uh, and that is times, uh, or anded with, B or C bar. All right. And then we're at step three. We're going to um, invert the whole thing. So we get A, C, B or C bar. Then we have a little bit more simplification left. We're going to distribute this. A, B, C, or A, uh, A, C, C bar. This one goes to zero. So the final answer is just A, B, C. So these two are equivalent to each other. So that does it for De Morgan's theorem and logic simplification. I'll have some more complex examples of this later when we're working with some logic circuits. But if you enjoyed this video, check out my YouTube channel. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.